Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, sorry for the late start. I was uh, running some errands with my family because it's almost Chinese New Year's. I mean, yeah, literally in two days on the 1st of February, it's going to be Chinese New Year. So kind of hectic, but uh, I'm back and this time streaming Pokemon Legends Arceus. I've been hearing like lots of good things about it. And let's just see how it goes. I've kind of spoiled some of the beginning for myself because, you know, everyone's playing this game. But like, I, I had my suspicions about how like the setting was going to be. We're greeted by a bright yellow light, reminiscent of Arceus. But yes, let's see what... Pokemon God says, Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. Oh, thank you, Arceus. I am that which humans call Arceus. Yes, I know. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Uh, I'm just going to go with the guy character. Because, uh, no, I, he's just my favorite protagonist in every Pokemon game. At least in the main series, like, uh, especially, like, in the manga. Diamond's my favorite character. <laughs> what is thy name? Uh, apparently the default name is Ray, But, uh, I'm just gonna go with myself because it is somewhat gender neutral. Somewhat, yes. Yes. Yes, that's me. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. I don't know, I'm very familiar with Sinnoh. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Yes, I know. I know what Pokemon are. Yes, Arceus. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. That's quite ambitious. I don't know how many Pokemon are in this game, though. But it makes sense. It kind of reminds me of, um... Dreano's ROM hacks. His, like, enhancement hacks of, uh, Gen 4 for, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Platinum. Like, you have to catch all the Pokemon and, like, meet all the certain requirements just to, like, see Arceus. But, yeah. We're getting isekai into the past by Arceus, of course. I kind of had a suspicion this was going to be the case because of the arc phone he presents to us. That, like, uh, they were releasing, or, like, teasing was gonna be in the game. Which I kind of thought was out of place. But, cool. He sent us to the past, essentially. It's so pretty. It kind of makes me want to play, like, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, or, like, Okami. I... Just, it just gives that ancient Japanese vibes that I, I really like the aesthetic of. Wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my boy? Like, from what I've seen, I think all the characters are from Galar or thereabouts, especially this guy. Just like the way he's dressed and the way he speaks, yes. Gave you quite the shock falling from the sky like that. Thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh, I'm always very cautious. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, 
Who in the world does that? Well, pardon me, sir? I can't help that. I must say, your clothing, clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, I love the expressions. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, the, the emotive expressions is a lot better than past Pokemon games so far. Especially, it was really unsettling in Sun Moon and Ultra Sun Moon. Where, uh, you're kind of a psychopath always smiling, especially when, like, things are going terrible plot-wise around you. That's, that's the feeling I got while going through Alola. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Uh, no. Nowhere. I... I... Sir! You saw me appear from nowhere! I mean, the sky, but technically nowhere. Or essentially nowhere. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Sir! Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I'll work it out. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh, Rallet. I love Cyndaquil too. Really, I have no strong feelings towards Oshawa, like against or for. But apparently, Oshawa is the least liked of this of this selection. Uh, from what I've seen, Rowlet is the most well liked. I was gonna pick Rowlet anyways. I already knew who I wanted. I just love my Ghost Owl, but uh, yeah. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do, sir. Ah, uh, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and, uh, what might, what might your name be? Uh, sir, if you're gonna ask someone for their name, give your name first, at least. At least, uh, I think that's what is expected. Oh, so you're called Yuki. Yes, it's my name. Or at least part of my name. In another language. Uh, that name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. It literally just means snow. And that's literally my name. Or at least half of it. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. You're supposed to do that first. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not that familiar with trees, but I'm not, I don't know what a Vlaventon is, but, uh, nice to meet you, I guess. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here with... Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. My, why must you run from me again? They got bored, I guess. I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you'd help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Okay, free camera movement. I can, okay, I can't. My friend told me they could drown in the water, but it looks like we can't just run into the ocean. Wait, isn't this... 
shouldn't this be south of Sanjem? That's the that's the closest water route clo uh, by um, Jubilife, at least to a beach. Cause um, going west from Jubilife, it's a no. There's a dock. We're either west of Jubilife or south of Sanjem. One of the two. Okay, I can crouch with the B button. There's no jumping. I was trying to see if I could like click the analog stick for the running thing, but it looks like I was already running. But uh, the phone interrupted us, so let's go look at the glowing beeping object over here. Oh wait. It's a menu. Survey tips, game controls. Uh, crouch or rise, Y to dodge, but look, I, I was pressing Y, I can't dodge yet. Ride a different Pokemon, check the Pokedex, don't have that yet. Camera control, clicking the right analog doesn't do anything. Don't have the arc phone until I pick it up. Let's battle. I can move around in battle? That's odd. And how do I, like, pick stuff from the menu, then? I can move the camera in the battle, too. Check items, check... Oh, okay, it's gonna be, uh... It's the D-pad, essentially. Okay. There's no... Trainer ID thing. Well, I guess that doesn't exist... Yet? Something that resembles a phone. It, yep, essentially. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. Feel a strange power emanating from it. Thanks, Arceus. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. So I guess we had a regular smartphone, not a Rotom phone. That's a shame. I like the Rotom phone. Rotom's essentially my favorite Pokemon. I just love how it could be uh, any electrical thing or possess any electrical thing. It's like a haunted transformer. <laughs> uh. oh, okay, that's running. Okay, but the way it suddenly stops is weird. <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? I'd love to give you... I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. I love the Sidui. <laughs> yeah, little owl. It's so round and spherical. I love Hoot Hoots too. I actually like Hoot Hoot over Knocked Owl. Knocked Owl's cool and all, but like Hoot Hoot's just so cute and round. That one over there is Cyndaquil. Fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. It doesn't look surprised or irate. You're a secret killer if I've ever seen one. Plop, plop, plop. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. I believe it's called a scow chop or something like that. Plush, plush. I don't think otters make those noises, but okay. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50 of them. 
we can craft more. We're going to have to, I guess. Uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. Does this mean technically all Pokemon can learn Minimize? And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Then why can't you do it, good sir? Though, far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Not my point exactly, but, uh... Sorry? <laughs> Okay, Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them, hold down ZR, take aim, we can keep aiming with the right stick, release ZR, if it hits Pokemon you'll be able to catch it, if you ready a Pokemon but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel throw. Okay. Okay, like that. I saw Oshawott first, but... Cyndaquil is closer, so... No, wait. Don't sass me, boy. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. No, because the future Pokemon are very docile. 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 However that word is pronounced. Asha, 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 what? Asha, 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 what? Yeah. It's kind of throwing me off. I don't have to press anything to throw the ball? I feel like I do, but uh, you just released the aim button. I can hardly believe it. Incredible. You know, many Pokemon fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Is it because of me that, like, history changed and now then, like, Pokemon and trainers exist? I find that Odd. Okay, where is the little crew, 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 <laughs> owl? If you run out of balls, do just say the word. Can I get more from you then, actually? Okay, if you just waste all your balls, he will give you more, but like, crew, there you are! Camouflage owl. Come here, come here. Huh? Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another gold, old boy. Crew! Where'd you go? I saved you for last because you were the best option, but... I guess they'd have to teach you about failure somehow. Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. Who thought it was a good idea to send them here then? And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? Um, from the future, sir? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here now. Uh, I'm from the future, sir? Please believe me? 
Look, I have future tech as proof. Seek out all Pokemon. I guess you could fixate on that, but uh, future tech. That object is an arc phone, you say? Um, I guess I'm calling it an arc phone. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? I guess. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. See, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokedex. Or Pokemon. My bad. Aren't you supposed to be Rowan's uh, ancestor or something? That explains why Rowan is all dapper or dressed so smartly. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Rowan's so cool. He doesn't really care about you catching them. He just wants you to just note that you've seen it in Sinnoh. <laughs> Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for te teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Uh, you didn't have to convince me. I... I see this as a good win-win situation. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. That's very dangerous, but uh, you're in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. Guess it works out in this win-win situation. We've got a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get those Pokemon back to the village. Sir, can I ask you about that weird, swirly storm portal in the sky above Mount Coronet? Eh, we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Sir, the big swirly portal thing, please. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilee Village. We were probably next to Cadenalavia. That's very ominous, sir. Sir, can I ask about that? It's a giant crack in the sky. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so... I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Don't mind me. I look so distressed. Or at least the kid looks so distressed. They're all stare- or that lady is staring at me. She gave me a weird side eye. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition theme. I understand that you must be more than a dad kid. Sir, sir, you're talking- Okay, I'm just gonna follow behind you then. Hmm. Okay, but you guys know about Pokemon. Who settled here if you guys are, like, so afraid of... I mean... Is this, like, a penal colony or something? Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Hmm, what's up, Arceus? 
Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. I can use... Okay, the map is going to be in the phone. It has missions... Information on missions and requests. I know missions are like st mandatory story related stuff. Requests are just side quests. I wonder if the re like untaken requests are marked on the map. That'd be really useful. You'll also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, you can look for these markers. Okay. Good. Nice. Quality of life. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sir? Of course you haven't, ma'am. At least you look friendly and you're like... Not talking behind my back. You won't find any Pokemon on Prelude Beach. It's about as safe as things get around here. Prelude Beach. Huh. Save the Pokemon of Hisui are even more savage and powerful than those of other regions. Interesting. How far back can I go? Still can't roll. Wait, are they just... Seriously? Am I just allowed to leave? This was where we caught the Pokemon. I guess there's nothing there. Okay, it's just... Hmm. I mean, okay. Yeah, I guess there's nothing here, but, uh... Strange? Okay. Let's explore the town proper. What's over here? A farm? How quaint. So this village of ours attracts also attracts strange guard folks like yourself, eh? I came here from across the sea in search of fields to call my very own. For this venture of mine to succeed, I need to make sure we can work these fields safely. I mean, it looks safe enough. Guess this is wheat or rice? No, that should be rice, I think. Possibly. It's some type of grain. A newcomer. If we want to guard the village properly, we'll need to partner up with Pokemon. What an odd way to dress. Is that fashionable where you're from? Uh, I don't know about fashionable. I would say it's more casual and comfortable than anything. I'm worried about the state of things here in Jubilife Village. We lack basic necessities, and there's some strange people around. Don't don't look at me like that while you say that. Speaking of basic necessities, you guys don't have indoor plumbing now, huh, do you? Scared of Pokemon. Wish I'd never been brought here. Someone was moved here against their will. I had a rather traumatic exp experience when a wild Pokemon attacked me. Now I'm scared to even set foot outside the village. Seriously, why did you people come here? It's so odd. Oh, okay, so this is the pasture. I feel like the pastures need to be a lot of space if I'm going to be, like, keeping Pokemon there. This region's huge! I didn't come here on my own will, sir. Or little boy. Back in my hometown, I've got an older brother who's going to inherit the family farm and all. But I'm going to make my own way here in Hisui. Yeah, you guys are just colonists. Okay, they're not letting me inside, so... Leave no food for freeloaders. Loaders. Survival out here is a daily battle. You know, okay. This is like a, just a colony of sorts.
Yes, that's what I'm doing, talking to everyone. Never know if that's gonna be handy. Is that a bridge over there? It is. All right, that is the menu. What does the arc phone look like? Oh, it's not like a graduals type thing. Okay, that button does that. I could only zoom in on specific places, apparently. Front gate. Farm, pastures. Did the geography change? The geography is a bit different. Okay. It's not one-to-one -one mapped, but I guess that makes sense. This would be Lake Verity, then. Right? Or at least... Jubilife would have probably moved... At least I hope that's Lake Verity. Jubilife City probably shifted a little. Interesting, okay. I mean, I didn't expect it to be a one-to-one -one mapped to Sinnoh, but like... Okay. You're new too, but people aren't giving you strange looks, then again, you're from this time period. Hairstyles? Clothing lady, I'm guessing. Pokemon terrify me. Even going out to gather berries is the worst. Okay, there's an item storage. Okay. So that means there's gonna be an uh, inventory limit, I'm guessing. They're not letting me inside. Yep, that's clothes. That's hair. Photography. Clothier. Hairdresser. General store. Oh, I didn't talk to you. Wait. You look like Charon. You definitely look like Karen, Charon, Charon, um, Pluto's tiny moon. Commander Kamado is fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. Sumos don't throw. I thought they grapple and, uh, wrestle. Huh. Ignore you. What are you? You looking for someone? Crafting table? Oh, I guess that's where we make more pole balls and supplies then, I guess. And you are? Galax Galaxy team is made up of several cores. Let's see, there's the security, construction, and agriculture cores, and a few others besides. It's back here. And this grand building. It's quite nice. Shrine Garden watch over. Hey. I'm here to give thanks to the guardian of this shrine who watches all over all in Jubilee Village. Um, let's send our prayers towards Arceus and thank you. Goodbye. Those well, Survey Corps people, what is it they're actually investigating? All they seem to do is eat potato mochi at the wallflower. 
They're making some sort of po potato decks or what? Uh, don't joke about food dexes. The curry dex is very important in Galar culture. Our human weapons are no match against the fangs and claws of Pokemon. No. There's a story of a guy who actually murdered Pokemon with a sword. I remember that. And then Pokemon avoided him. And he was lonely and sad and stuff. As I recall. Ah, that's an interesting sun. It's just a round sphere. Or perfect circle. In a sense. Okay. Time to go to the Wallflower. Enough faffing about. Don't mind me. Running through a battle. Like a crazy madman. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. They don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. I was sent here by, uh, Laventon? Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mincemeat in those flimsy clothes. If you if the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Uh, Laventon? Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. Where are all of you from? If he's from Galar. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. That can kill you. At least I hope or assume regular physics and biology works in the Pokemon world. It can kill you. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a bit... I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor. But everything will be quite alright now. Yuki here has agreed to help us with their Pokedex. In exchange for a place to stay, please. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? Damn, you don't like us. You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. Okay, either you don't like us or you're a stickler for uh, protocol and procedures. I kind of am too. You know, when it suits me. And I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Miss Cyrus Lady? Assuming the individual, individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Sylee. I love Cyrus so much. <laughs> so I, I can't wait to see how Sylee is. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. That eh, seems fair. Mm, you look to be 15 or so. Uh, I assume the coming of age, okay, the, the, like, you come of age at, like, 10 or 11, but, but 15 makes more sense nowadays and, you know, modern times. Quite old enough to work for your keep. I think Diamond and Pearl, um, they were 12 in the manga? Yeah. Like, the, the the protagonist age, like, gets a little bit older with each, uh, generation. Because, like, the original red-blue, you're technically 10. But, like, it aged up to 12 around Diamond Pearl. 
But uh, it went back down to like 11 for Sword Shield, I believe. Because that's when you're like allowed to, I guess, get endorsements for the gym challenge, from what I remember. But uh, yes, yes, we're quite old enough to work for our keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. I caught three Pokemon. I want to see the rest of you do better, since apparently a lot of people are afraid. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Oof. Oof. She's just... She's just going in by herself. Aloof as always, I see. No, well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum. Usual potato mochi, if you please. Make it for three today. Potato mochi. I guess it's possible to make mo mochi from potato. Kind of weird, though. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Thank you, sir. Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our... Visitor here? It's with the pause, lady. Uh, well, you know of that great hole in the sky? The one people call the t space time rift? How would you guys even know it's a space time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. No, I did. I'm from the future. Come now, I'm a scientist. How do you know it's a space-time rift, though? My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with the facts. But how did you get the facts? Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are, in the grass, in forest, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as a survey course is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Can't you just do that through observation? Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. Two of them specifically control space and time. One of them literally sent me back in time. Even though it's not one of the two I previously mentioned. It's, it's literal God. Uh, that's where Yuki will come in. Uh, what about me now? Successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand? Yes. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. How long have you guys been struggling? Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one when Wild Pokemon come after us. Okay, that's probably giving me a bit too much credit then, because these three were supposedly a bit more docile and tame. They don't listen to anyone still, but like... You didn't outright attack me. Uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. Right? Yeah. Sir, are you... overestimating me? <laughs> but the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Oh, they're, they're not that dangerous. They might be. Oh dear. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know? The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours has clearly has her on edge. 
can I just like sit with her and talk with her and reassure her I won't be a burden? Stress eating's not healthy. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Yuki. Um, uh, no, I don't eat that much. Uh, one is enough, thank you. Um, but uh, the captain, someone should no. Oh, okay. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. Uh, I I appreciate that, but uh. But your work? The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Okay, you're presuming way too much, sir. I'll just take one potato mochi, I guess. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the flu was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Yuki has to pass has a trial to pass to join the survey courts, don't you? Not to worry, I have completely co I have complete confidence in Yuki's skills. What's then what's the task? Please? Let's hope it is not misplaced. Oh, hello ma'am. Yuki, was it? Yes. Uh you need something? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. But if you fail to pass a trial we put you to, to uh, we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. But uh, this is still quite generous, ma'am. Thank you. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Ah. Uh, that's quite harsh, but uh, still fair, I suppose. Yeah, slightly worried. Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. But she's got a fair point. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend hasn't had enough falling for one day. Sir! And with that, I bid you both good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Speaking of mysteries, I'm getting a lot of Mystery Dungeons vibes from this game. Probably because Mystery Dungeon is also an isekai. I suppose. Anything else, Benny? They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my soot foot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. Soot foot? That doesn't sound ta tasty, but uh, I guess... Okay, I'm gonna go assume with that everyone else says the same thing. Yeah. Uh, one more. Just in case. Wait. Were you here on the bridge before? Oh. Okay, yep. Yeah. Wait. Captain of the Survey Court, Silene. I wonder if there's any. if anything actually scares her. I don't know. Some people are just fearless. Like, I don't really have many fears, mainly because I don't really bother caring about much. If it happens, it happens. Jump scares aren't scary, though. They're just cheap. And surprising, for sure, but not scary. We've got a nice fire and a sunken hearth. Oh, we have our own chest in here too, I guess. Jug for drinking water has a 
lid on top. Oh, that's... That's actually cool. Uh, survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work. Oh, we can read it anytime. Okay, handy tips for team members. This is teaching us how to save. Oh, can we, like, do we have access more to more settings now? Oh, right, I didn't actually look at the settings. I'll enable that. I... I kind of want that, I guess. Just more information doesn't really hurt. I just... I don't know what that means. Dynamic rage? Range? The ratio between the loudest and the quietest. I guess this is more like stereo. A wide ratio, I think, would mean like loud and quiet is completely different. I'll, I'll just have that on, I guess. Survey tips. We can't set our own markers, can we? I actually didn't check. Oh, we can set our own markers. Okay. This is a very sturdy dresser. Tommy mats. We don't have clothes, apparently. What is this? Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. I mean, I agree with all of that except probably the third one I mean I know what I like and dislike but I guess it means like regardless of that put up with it I guess some situations I don't but uh oh well there are some lovely stones that someone put, must have found but they're just plain old stones why are they like in a bottle Huh, oil. Oil lanterns. Interesting. Wait, when did I take off my shoes? Or sandals? Bedu! Bedu's cry, I just have memorized it's another cry i have memorized but i think it's because of shadows of omnia but uh yeah that didn't seem good next day good morning are you up quite some lightning last night wasn't it it wasn't quite some lightning that was very dangerous wait why did i hang up my sandals up there that's is that hygienic? Is that su are, are we supposed to hang up sandals up there? Next to the garlic and tomatoes? What? Why couldn't I just like leave the sandals by the door or entrance or something? Huh. Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all. You're not being tried.
Oh, okay. That's interesting. So on the floorboards, we don't have our shoes. So, then what are those sandals then? Then again, those are like made out of like the tatami straw and bamboo, I guess. And mine are probably plastic. What lovely weather we've got. Hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Sure, I guess. Dot, dot. Whose room is this? Okay, we just we do just leave it on the stairs. Okay, interesting. Just breaking and entering. Don't mind me. I just want to see everything in here. Is this... Was I in this room? I can't tell. Oh, no, I wasn't. Okay. I didn't bother talking to that guy yesterday, but I assume that... What was gonna happen? Did that little boy come here on his own just to make his own fortune? You can throw spoiled apricorns at wild Pokemon to make them drop their defenses. Spoiled apricorns? What? Acorns go bad? Okay, no, you're still talking about the commander. Survey Corps offices are here on the first... Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they... They were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical courts will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. <laughs> I appreciate a good pun. I, But, uh... You don't seem to be laughing. <laughs> I'll laugh for you. Captain Silene, Yuki's here. <laughs> you may enter. Gotta shut up. <laughs> but that was particularly good. Or terrible, but that's what makes it so good. <clears throat> Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team... Prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Hopefully he didn't. Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Fair enough, ma'am. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That looks so terrible with our clothes. 
That satchel doesn't exactly match your mode of dress. I, I, I feel completely the same way. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Um, how so? Activate guide? Oh, okay, we could turn that on and off, I guess, for tracking. Uh, press the Y button to consult map on your ARC phone, and you can check the tasks you have waiting. Okay. Pardon, come with me for a, a moment. Okay. Thanks, Professor. Now then, jolly good morning to everyone. Something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our projects and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Yuki absolutely must pass his trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just a ticket to help accom accomplish that. Go on, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Archer, Owl, Crew, hell yeah. I know you become a ghost uh, grass fighting instead of a grass ghost, but, but come here. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Rowlet back inside his Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Heck yeah. Word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Boom. Plush. Okay, you look- you sound like you're gonna explode and you sound like you're splashing around. Your- your guys is like onomatopoeias don't quite fit. Not like Rowlet's crew! They look as if they're cheering on their friend Rowlet. Or perhaps that they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. I'm sorry, I wish I could take all three of you, but crew! That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Yuki fell out of the sky after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. I didn't answer. All three of those species can be found in the, uh, the obsidian fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Like, extra Pokeballs on top of yesterday, or... Or did you take all your yesterday's Pokeballs back? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Sure. Okay, that's the bag. Huh. Organize. Interesting. What's grab do? Okay, I can move it around manually with grab. One foot tall. Interesting. Uh, I can mark them like that. Wait, what's what's that Arceus symbol thing for? Gust. That's your starting move. Odd. Okay, I knew HP was inflated, but it looks like all the other stats seem a bit inflated, too. For level 5, at least. 
usually at level five, your stats for don't go past like what about thirteen for a starter. Oh, you're serious. That's so cute. Serious archer owl. I kind of want to explore the rest of this building, though. You're not going up there until we know... Darn. But, uh... I can't... I can't zoom in on there? There's my room, yes. Unfinished tasks first. Numerical order, unfinished tasks first. I think I want unfinished tasks first. Just to keep it organized. Can I go to the basement? That door's no good. Neither is this one. Or that one. Okay, the, the X button lets me cycle through. I'm gonna have it on Rowlet so I don't waste Pokeballs right off the bat. I tend to be stingy when I play games. Hey, little boy, what are you doing here? Yes, I know my clothes look weird. It's like I got a fanny pack on. What department is this? We're in the middle of n nowhere out here. We have to make what we need ourselves. Su suppliers? People? Or you guys work on crafting? Maybe a small thing, but it sure feels great to be able to make what's needed for the team. Okay. Good to know. This is down here. Can I seriously not go into these doors? There's just... It's a real shame. And I can tell the camera's gonna be a pain in, like, close quarters, but... That's neither here nor there quite yet. It's the basement. Let's check out the medic ward. Oh, that's unfortunate. Can I not bother that? Okay, that's also unfortunate, but makes sense, I suppose. It's safe here in Jubilee Village. Don't forget you can always return here to rest and recover. Old-fashioned Nurse Joy. You know what is expected of you. Now it is up to you to see things through. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, it, it's an open top. I thought he was, like, boxed in. Okay. That's, that's a relief. Oh, I guess Rowlet would be in this bonsai, this giant bonsai tree thing if I didn't pick him. Thank you, sir, for believing in me. I suppose- what is this? It's hard to guess what this is supposed to do, but it certainly does look impressive. Huh. Okay. That guy's not gonna let me up. <laughs> so I might as well go. follow me? No? Okay, if I click the throw button again, he, like, comes back, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I couldn't tell whose ancestor this was. But, like, after a while it finally clicked that it's supposed to be Cynthia's ancestor. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Like, I can only tell because of the way his, uh bangs go over his falls over his face and like the steely gray eyes but yeah for me like Cynthia's design is like very unique to her so it was hard for me to like tell who this plainly dressed guy was related to I've heard about you fell from the sky didn't you now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Is, is that not a common thing? Having a Pokemon? Investigating the Auden novel is key to any good merchant success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Uh, sounds good, I guess. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about the Shroud Year 2 attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. I can't really do anything except attack you. I only have, uh... Gust, after all. I feel bad about fighting Togepi, though. It's so cute! The spiky egg boy. <laughs> it's running towards me. Okay, but he's not attacking me, okay? Because it's still turn based, yes? Oh! Right, I'm grass flying. Um, I forget you start with as flying. I thought. You... Why did I think you were pure grass, actually? That actually makes a bit more sense if you have gust. Oh, crit right off the bat. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. I didn't have any items, good sir. New move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Yep. Okay, if you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose... Okay, we can change. We can manually change our moves. That's nice. So people, few people here have their own Pokemon. Only more knew how to use Pokeballs. I mean, I guess it's a necessity from you, for you, because I think you're a traveling merchant. That's the vibe you give off, at least. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Especially yours. I feel bad about your Togepi. Thanks to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. 60. Yeah, it's, it's quite inflated in this game. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. Potion, yeah, it's, a, it's times 3 to 60 is about right, how the HP is inflated. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. That makes you sound sleazy. And conniving. Please don't be a villain. Or do. That would be very interesting in Cynthia's family history. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. How are you guys gonna fetch my body though? Your trials begins your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Uh, swap to Rowlet. You're Yuki correct? I was formed you'd be passing through. 
travel take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Don't say it like that, please. Oh. Each area is broken down into zones, too, I guess. Like, kind of like the wild area, I guess. Oh, we can actually craft at the camps, too. Okay, that makes sense if we, like, run out of items in the field. Oh, whoops. Uh, was I supposed to pick up... Yeah, okay, yeah, I was supposed to click it right there. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Uh, well, you see... Captain Sileen got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain, but... What help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? Rude, Akari. To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Yuki's talents are the real deal. Deal. I appreciate your belief in me and all, sir, but what if I actually do die? You'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. But on the off chance if I do die, what's your plan then, sir? Uh, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Oh, I'm sorry, Akari. Well, I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's begin to trial. Both of you are not very re reassuring. I need to buy a... Switch up... Oh, okay. You're essentially... You're essentially like a computer box. Workbench, I can rest here. Item storage. Hey, how many item boxes do I Six. And it's six by five, thirty, eighteen, not thirty times. That's one hundred eighty item slots. Two, three, four, five. 200 item slots, including my satchel. Huh, I wonder if there's a satchel upgrade then. Oh, and I can rename it by clicking the R. Okay, that's what that was. And that's just set piece. If Pokemon start launching attacks at you, run to safety as quickly as you can, alright, my boy? Um, maybe. Do I, when do I get the roll? Will you give me the roll? This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Now oh, that's fancy. And along comes a Bidoof. Okay. Bidoof. He is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Padoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run from people. So this will be easy. Have you ever caught, in any caught anything before? Out of a doof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. <clears throat> Wait. I can't nickname my Pokemon? I thought I can. Am I supposed to... Oh. Change name. Change moves. 
I'm not gonna bother with uh, nicknames, I think. Since this game is all about catching a bunch of Pokemon, and I kind of have an idea of what Pokemon I want to use on my team. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be har harder to spot. B to crouch. Make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Okay. Oh, I like the little effect they have. Oh. <laughs> okay, this will be a bit more difficult than I thought. Oh, that's a shame. Wave goodbye to that Starly, I suppose. As I said, they're skittish. If one spots you, you'll have a tough time catching it. Look, another Starly. Crouch down before it spots you. Excuse me, you've started. I'm trying to get to the grass. Shh. I know what I'm doing. Sort of. <laughs> I just beamed it on the back of the head. <laughs> that sounded painful, actually. Uh, that Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Oh, I. I, I knocked it on the back of the head. And I picked up an apricorn. Brown apricorn, okay. Oh, those don't exist in Johto. I forgot. There's something I ought to teach you, since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokeball's Pokemon's ball at the rocks or trees like this to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached our final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Um, not yet. I want to... Go. Okay, I can shuffle through them. Level two. Huh. That's unfortunate, but okay. There, that's Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? It's a little miniature lion, yes. More or less. Thought you might. Can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any balls you throw at them. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. Okay. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it's picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay. Don't worry though, I'll teach you a trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Okay, just throw it at the Pokemon or near it. And if you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, just press X to just swap between them. Okay. 
Wait. Rock. Um. Didn't mean to do that. Um. But, uh. Beat it up. I seriously didn't mean to do that. Um, but, uh, can I- can I just catch you? Like that? Looking around? Wait. Oh, action order. Guess I should use Gust. Oh, I don't have the battle styles yet. Interesting. approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. I guess. With you at our side, I think the survey course has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. Wait, ordered by who? I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Uh, can I stay out here for a bit, please? Wait, did I get experience from that? No, oh, I said I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations! Thank you, sir. You've taken your first steps or seeking out every Pokemon. I kind of have to. This calls for a commemorative photo. What time period are we in? Victorian? Is everything industrialized already? Is this the Meiji era in, Jap Meiji era in Japan? Quite um, odd since I recently just finished playing Ace Attorney, or uh, Great Ace Attorney, but. Uh, huh. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Sylee in time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? Hmm. What time period is this? What? In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Yeah. How have you guys been surviving? Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our or report at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Do I have money on me? How do I check my money? I liked how everything was before. Interesting, I can leer out Pokemon. Uh, natures are still a thing. Abilities aren't a thing, it looks like. I thought there was something missing on this screen. It also doesn't say anything about Ivies, right? Unless the numbers 
have something to do with ivies? Or it could just be like Eevees or something. I think it might be related to Eevees, actually. No, or... I'm not quite sure. This... Stat things is weird. Oh, okay. Money is up on the top right corner. I just spotted it just now. Okay, I don't have money. It's a shame. I wanted to see what the haircuts were available. Although I do like... The default design, because Daya is my favorite Pokemon special character. I hope she's pleased too. Reporting back, ma'am. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Nope. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I admit. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. Call that a high hurdle? I mean, I guess. If not even Akari's been able to accomplish that. Which is yours? The official uniform of the Survey Corps. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Okay. But, like, can I, um... No, I still don't have money. No one gave me money. This is the, still the pre-hiring period, I suppose. Didn't mean to check that. Yes, I like to change. Hats, shirts, kimonos, or like full body. Wait, there you go. Glasses. Oh, I can change my eye colors. Gray, green, pale blue, yellow, pink, purple. Lavender, ice, poppy, red, white. Pale blue, like diamond. Finish changing. Yes. I'm surprised they have contacts in this time contact lenses at this time period, but okay. I just gotta give him a haircut, I suppose. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. See you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Yay, my beret. <laughs> Outfit's complete. Now, present yourself to the commander. Uh, will do after I uh, explore the third floor. I really want to know what's in these rooms. Who are you? It's brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. What? What is this? 
Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. Seriously, what department? Evie! You're a boy. I can't throw Pokemon indoors. That's that's a shame. Seriously, what departments are on this floor? Uh. Sir? Wait, you look like Professor Rowan? Most definitely. I've been waiting for you. I am Komodo, Komodo, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Yuki. Y yes, sir! Mm hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Um. Sir, you. Sc Rowan kind of scares me, and this man is no different. I don't think I can throw him. I'm a 15 year old boy, and this is a grown man. Charge? Ha! <laughs> Oh, that wasn't gonna... Regardless, I don't think that was gonna end up well. <laughs> You've got vigor. I give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm wel welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. Is no one gonna mention the lightning from last night? But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to, to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. That'll be difficult since I can't get like a 360 view of my surroundings, but I'll keep that in mind, sir. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Oof, that sounds terrible. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed. You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Did you tell everyone about my phone? Laventon? Here, you'll need this. Ooh. One apricorn and one tumblestone. I have one apricorn, but a tumblestone. And 3,000 poke as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Or blow it on fashion. Akari, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Oh, I sh should have activated the idea. It's kind of odd how that doesn't automatically track. Can I track it or not? But it's... Huh. Weird. Wait, right, this is the nurse's office. What do you have to say now? Q. 
keep up the good work, new kid. That's kind of patronizing. Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. Anthy? I'm the local clothier. Mm, you seem very familiar. I can't quite place it. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. This way that the craft works. Um, for that. What do you have to sell? Kate Glear Base. It's just cake. And you can buy revives off the bat? That's nice. Oh, I never talked to you. Some Pokemon prefer rainy days, you know? Me, I just stay inside and enjoy a nice nap. Is there weather in this game? That hints like there would be weather. Um, let me save before this. I want to save. Level 10 and below. Seriously? That's so low. Oh, I do have an ID now. I mean, I, that's for online purposes, so, like, I figured there would be, but nothing, like, official, like, a trainer card or anything, because that doesn't exist. Messy ponytail, shorn, curled. Braids. Slate. Okay, black is darker. Slate is actually fine, I guess. But I think black for eyebrows is a bit better. I'm probably just go to reset. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna reset that. <laughs> just to keep that money. Okay. Huh. I thought there were gonna be more haircuts. But I'll just keep the spiky do. I mean, this means more money for um, clothes. That flute sound. Where was that flute sound from? That was very familiar. Which game was that from? Platinum? I feel, I feel like I heard it from Platinum before, but I can't quite place it. Is that how the Azure flute sounded? Special parcel is right with your name on it. Modern jacket, modern trousers, and modern shoes. What a precious gift. Wait, what? 
How? Wait, why was that given to me? I, I don't understand, but, uh, clothes, please, ma'am. Shame and fancy kimono, shame and fancy... Wait, what? Pikachu festival, Eevee festival. What did we just get? Oh, that's cute. But it's just floating. It's like not even attached to. I'm just gonna keep the hat. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. This is very pretty. But very open in the chest. <laughs> Ooh, this gives me, like, Chinese New Year vibes, the pants. But, like, I don't like how open the top is. Let's just go with these clothes. Okay. Oh, I still can't dodge yet. Someone teach me how to roll. Please? Do you actually sell anything? No, you don't. Okay. That's a lot of free clothes. You can work use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village kind of convenient they all have the tools there with each bench I'll supply what you need to make your first pogo balls once you're ready to begin call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best I I mean I wanted to spend money on a haircut but like I'll just keep my regular style thank you go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft in this case a pogo ball um Yep, just go up to a workbench. Oh, I... That guy was making a face at me, and... I might as well craft as many as I can. That guy has a judgy face. I know he nodded in, like, approval, but... No, he seems very judgmental. Oh, ho now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first att time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. So is Gigantamax just, like, a phenomenon that's the opposite of them being able to shrink down into poke walls. On, on the note of the Pokedex, here you are. But... Hmm. I guess Galar is much more modern than this, I suppose. Pokedex. It's, it's just a book. A notebook. Tasks with unreported data, eight. Whew. I want to see what that means. Wait, tasks with unreported... T 
times you've seen it use ember, quick attack, flame wheel, strong, agile, number you've evolved. Habitat unknown. So then how do you get your own Cinequilla out Osh Oshawott? I know there's trading, but like, how, is there breeding? Huh. Not found here. Oh, okay. Togepi is not specifically in the. Okay, that's that's weird. Okay, but I do have to catch more, so I'm gonna eventually. I'm eventually gonna, like, find more Rowlets, Cyndaquils, and Oshawats, right? I have to catch 25 of these? Fine. I can- I can do that. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there on this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at Fieldlink's camp whenever you're ready, my good Yuki. Sure. But, like, how do I know who has requests for me? Because I kind of want to do side quests, too. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a quest for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Is it marked on my map? Yes, they are. Okay. I might as well pick them up all at once. Pick up his first, though. <clears throat> hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Oh. Is that a... Is that a Zubat? Crobat? It's a bat. Which bat? But, uh, yeah, Pokemon can evolve, yes. So I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're a member of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? Sure. There'll be a nice reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. Uh, there was one way over there. Do you guys say anything different? No, okay. I might as well ignore you guys unless you guys have, uh... Anything interesting to say? Or is there anything interesting in the buildings, though? You have Pokemon with you? Wow, and they don't attack you? Are there any... Would they hide side quests in buildings? Huh. Guess not. Right, right, the Survey Corps. Okay. You, guard, what do you need? A big buizel. 
Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different size ones lined up side by side. There really are Buizel bigger than mine. I'd love to see them alongside the one that I have for comparison's sake. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a Buizel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Sure. Oh, I guess you could only track one at a time. It's fine, I guess. Can I change that? I can change it. Okay. I might as well always just track the main one then. That's just how, just checking how the Pokedex works. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and... The Survey Corps must have to get out and, com and about to compile, uh, compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. But when I see Starly, I simply, f I feel simply whole. Not... That I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Lady. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Polodex once you've completed it. Uh. Complete. What does complete actually mean? What? Number defeated, number you evolved. So does this mean I just need a... Evolve one? What do the... What do the arrows mean? I, I don't understand. I guess I need to- I'm okay, I should beat one up, and I should... Okay, beat one up, and then evolve one, I guess. Those ears, hmm. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see him with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Uh, well, sure, I have one. Here you go, buddy. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. That's it. Its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Looks more like a sword to me because of how it's uh, proportioned. Can't tell you what a relief, uh, relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat, only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Just give me free things, sir. Goodbye. Okay. More playtime. Wait. I might as well catch a few Wurmple, I guess. Okay. Start building up a team. Always prioritizing type variety. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. Details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to re reference anytime. Okay. Okay, this is explaining more about it. Uh, 
tasks we need to carry out to complete the Polodex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Polodex and check. When you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can in also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing the down button. Okay, I didn't try out focusing, so I gotta have to uh, learn about that a bit more. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. This game is a bit like Pokemon Snap too, with all those like different uh, things you need to observe from Pokemon. But this is, you know, more uh, off the rails and open worldy. Oh, one last piece of advice. If you see a wild Pokemon attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Because it does. Say again? Here, watch closely, and remember what I do so you can do it later. Hop. That was some leap. And distance. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. Security Corps had to collect me when I... Got the business end of some Shinx's Thundershock. But don't worry, I've got a lot of experiences to draw on and I'll teach you plenty. You got knocked out, lady. Okay, you could talk to him to go back. Or can you walk back? Okay, you can walk back also. Okay. What do you have to sell, actually? You could buy specifically from him, but I guess it's better to save much. Should I buy some revives? I'm gonna buy some revives. Uh... Buy a max of four? Mm, I didn't... I didn't check what was in stock at the clothing place. Well... That was a mistake on my part, but I have a lot of clothes anyways to try out, so... I might as well just continue. Okay, what's up, Akari? Now let me share some survey core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press down on... To open the Pokedex. You'll see... Okay, yes. Okay, demonstration time. Might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you caught. That's right, catching one, just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. You really like rhyming and puns, I feel like. And when it's time to battle Pokemon, remember the caption switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Do you have Pokemon, lady? I might as well beat you up. Uh, fight, yes. No, these are both the same. Beat you up. Huh. Oh. They drop stuff. 
And you automatically pick it up. That's nice. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, didn't mean to throw that. Okay, just get them from behind. That'll be better, I guess. Starly. Beat you up. With you. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I didn't check your moves. Quick attack. Another quick attack. I'm gonna keep you until I get a better electric type, I guess. For now, you can stay, Shinx. You know what, saw me. Seriously, that looks very ominous. Is no one else concerned? Could be because this is a new game with like weird controls. Oh, medicinal leak. But I'm very stiff about my movements, I feel like, still. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on your Pokemon to check your research task for it. And that's ZL down. Try checking your task for Star. Oh, um. Catch it without being. I've done that before. Did I screw up with the Bidoofs then? You went way ahead. I guess I screwed up the Bidoofs. I just need to evolve it, but I might as well catch as many as I can. Um, nope, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Darn it. Okay, if I trigger a battle, sometimes they fly away, oh, or Pokemon, the others fly away and run away. Shinx? I have to defeat it. Okay, let's beat one up, I guess. But it's such a good opportunity to catch it.
beat it up. Yeah, just beat it. Oh, you got Thundershock. That's nice. I'm not really paying attention to the priority bar. There's another one. Before it heals, it hurts me. Please. Uh, yeah, I think it's time for us to switch. Running around is very fun, but the battles seem... The battling is very standard, it feels like. Ooh, what's that? Tumblestone. Okay, that's what Tumblestone looks like. Where am I? <laughs> Akari wants me there, but like, I just want to explore as much as I can of this area. Ooh, another medicinal leak. Might as well just fight everything for experience. Cause I can. Okay, I can't focus and check the Pokedex while battling, I suppose. Makes sense. Cause we're fighting for our lives, supposedly. So many shinks. Ooh. Right, focusing lets me tell it tells me how uh, easy it is to catch. Uh, I should really start getting start catching them though. Finally. What is this? Vivid choke? Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Can't see a thing. Blind fight, Rowlet. Blind fight. Rallet! Go! 
go, Shanks number two. Um. Shanks number two, you don't have Thundershock, but that's fine. Let's heal a bit. Throwing. What is this? Interesting. Hitting a Pokemon may stun it, creating an opening for attack. In also interesting. Wait, are you no longer paralyzed? Okay, status effects heal after battle? That's... Nice. Please. Oh. Wasted a Pokeball. Uh, speaking of Pokeballs. Set you there, I guess. Ooh. Oh, no, that looks scary. Let's stay away from that, Luxio. Yeah, the music's all ominous, too. This should be far enough away. It's just... Avoid that. Where'd it go? Um, that sounded... Oh, it's right there. Quiet, little Shinx. Oh, they get experience for... They get experience for hitting trees and stuff. Nice, okay. I got a Wurmple. Catch a few more, because I gotta evolve them. I need to do with you. I might as well beat you up too, I guess. Type wise. Okay, let's use Gust. Okay. What is the scary thing around me? Probably still a Lucio. Is it the butterfly? Is the butterfly scary? 
Bugwort. Beautifly doesn't look scary. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Can I catch it? Nope. No. Um. Um. <laughs> what level is this? 22. Okay. Okay. We're running. We're running. Let's go, Rallet. <laughs> Let's just bust out of here. Wait. No, that's just a. Ch ch Shadow, okay. Ooh. Is that a cask? Silcoon, right? want to catch it. Yep, it's leveling level 5. Um, try not to kill it, Rowlet. Or do. Okay. That's cool too, I guess. That's completely fine too, I guess. Ah, beautifies are scary. Good. Ah. Nope, nope, nope. Please get away from that tree. I wanna... Ooh, I caught it. Somehow. Track your boop. Okay, run away, run away. Don't push our luck. But having a beautiful eye so early on is nice. I just keep running. I don't like that looks ray. It's scary. Maybe I should find Akari. <laughs> uh, catch more Wurmples, I guess. Until I run out of Pokeballs. Unless Akari needs be to have Pokeballs for something, but, uh... I can't be bothered with that for now. Stop wasting Pokeballs. Okay, that one ran away.
Okay, that's good. Hey, a Snorlax. I'm not testing that Snorlax. And I guess you could drown in this river. I remember my friend saying something about drowning in this river. So let's let's not. I actually don't want to die. I actually want to see how far I can make it without wiping out. to keep catching Pokemon until I run out of balls. Or get into a fight. I, mean, I do need to beat them up. Uh, let's see. Oh, you have Roost. Nice. Oh. What? I unlocked... Unlock styles for this. I figured I might as well use strong style. Wait. Oh, that wasn't a Pokeball. Just, just quiet, Rowlet. Escape? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Another Wurmple. Probably didn't need to beat up this Wurmple, but, uh, it, it ran away anyway. Okay. Oh, nope, that's across the river. Didn't see me, did it? Nope. Yep, there's no. Okay. Just edge around it. Ooh, the Starly are back. Seriously? She just walked up to me. K. 
Can you not? These rocks look breakable. Hmm. Well, I'm lost again. Okay, this is the... Okay, this is where we started. Pokeball. Oh. There's no jumping in this game. I have to remember that. Oh, uh, but there's stuff here. Okay, they can't break big rocks. Okay. What do you need, Akari? Around here you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. I ran out of Pokeballs. Can you spot me some? That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Yeah, about that, though. I, I don't have... Balls. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of your screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by wild Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, we were dangerously close to dying from the Beautifly. Oh, that's terrible way to die with it using Gust and Stun Spore. <sighs> Thanks, Rowlet, for saving my life. Take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red. You'll become overwhelmed with blackout. Okay. And speaking of which, your research task for Boizel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right. Some tasks require battling. Oh, go ahead. You take care of some of Boizel's research tasks, then come talk to me. Uh... I might as well beat it up. Or I go back to camp. Okay, let's just pick up some stuff that beat up the boizel. Beat up the badoo. Oh, wrong thing. I want to beat you up. That's what I want to do. Just grab as many tumble stones as I can. Although, I think apricorns are my limiting reagent. No. Although I'm terribly close to running out of uh, leafage. That was a level three, three weasel. Well, actually, if I run out of leafage, I could always just switch to a Shinx. with electric types. 
Yeah, I might as well switch to Shinx. regular quick attack and then I'm gonna probably try to abuse Thundershock, I guess. Just beat up Pokemon when I can. Let's use a different shakes. Huh. Agile style. Wow, that really did do almost nothing. Okay. That's fine. Ball of mud. Interesting. Switch to you. Ponyta. Okay, I definitely need to get uh, more Pokeballs. <laughs> I should pr really head back to camp and get some, or make some stardust. I could buy pogo balls too, I guess. Uh, Akari's here. Yes, I am doing quite well for myself. Here, little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Wait, what? Kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use materials you have in your satchel. You can select from the... Uh, you can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wor wherever and whenever you like. However, at, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be t able to use... Materials in your satchel. So if you're at a workbench, you can use stuff in storage, too. You can't craft more than items your satchel can hold. So you have to have empty space in your satchel, too, to craft. And a recipe for potions. One orange berry, one medicinal leaf. With the crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. So long as you have an... Apricorn and Tumblestone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. Or with an Orin and Medicinal Leak, you can make a potion. So do heal your Pokemon. No, only certain Pokemon get to be healed. How goes your research? Cover your Pokedex will tell you if there's tasks you finish and can report. I have 35 unreported data. That's fine. Please report back to Professor Laventon once you've got some research tasks good and done. Uh, I mean, I can. Oh, Rowlet didn't get his thing. But, uh, yeah. 
Now I don't have to go back to camp. I'm just gonna make as much as I can. Yeah. What is this? It stuns a Pokemon. I can sell this, yes, of course. Iron Chunk. I feel like this would be good for making heavy balls or whatever. Back to the Buizels. But how do I get them to spawn? Okay, fine. Let's just go towards where the ponytail was. Was it this way? More tumble stones. <laughs> Shoot. Evie. Evie, Evie. just by chance but there's another one get up run right that wasn't a trick of my imagination that that is an Eevee okay um Don't kill it. Please. There's a reason why I'm having you use Agile style. Do not kill it. No. Uh. Oh well. Good try though, I guess. There's the ponytail. Let's not use you for Ponyta. There you go. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's stand up and, like, actually run. Because I see things to collect. Lots of things to collect. Do these just respawn whenever? Something chasing. Okay, it is chasing me. Um, please get away from me.
Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of like this. This. Okay, we just need to defeat four more. There's a medicinal leak over there. Another Eevee. Okay. Get you out of the way. Shoot. No! No! Eevee! No! Ah. Uh. Ponyta's back. The focusing's not very accurate. Defeat with water type, times you've given it food. Oh, interesting. Um, in that case... Can't climb over that. Um, that looks like it wants to murder me. Oh, that's... Okay. That's what I turned on. I, I could take off the HUD if I want. Okay. Gotta be careful. Then... to catch two. This music doesn't very seem doesn't feel very adventury. What do I need to do? Heavy specimens. Hmm. I don't want to just beat it up with water, but I don't have a weasel with me. Uh, let's not antagonize that Rapidash. Cycle through. Oh, weasels are back. There's a weasel. Yep, okay. I knew it. Just catch one. And I 
guess I can beat up the rest. No, I'm just gonna catch this one. If I can. Oh, I caught the large weasel I needed. Nice. What else can I do around here, though? Besides collect items. I guess that's it. I think that's enough. We gotta get back to camp. But there's so much to collect. Okay, yep, let's run back to camp. Unless I see something else I want to catch. <gasps> nope, that was a wormple, naughty. <laughs> Mime Junior. Almost missed you. But do please get out of the way. Oh, time actually passes in the f Okay, that would make sense. But that just means I want to stay out here through the night. This is so fun. fine, I guess. Um... Eevee? No Eevee? Did I talk to you? Yes, I did. That means the Eevees I saw were around there somewhere. That's fine. Starly. Starly. Drifloon. Music got kind of more ominous. Not the scary ominous like the Lux Luxio that wanted to kill me. Nope. Nope. Okay. Ah, That's a shame. I wasted two Pokeballs, too. Very big shame. Oh, 
one just respawn to just Yes, okay, okay, time to run, uh, get up. Yep. This is a good start. How do I get up? Okay, can't climb that slope. Okay, back to camp. Uh, I want to swap out my Pokemon. Hmm. Which of you has the best Dats, two, one, two, that's five, five, ha, huh. I guess I'll stick with the original Shinx I caught then. I don't want to just throw this beautifully on the team because it's strong, but it's not going to listen to me. Right? Yeah, level 10, up to level 10. Well, Rowlet's, everyone's still listening to me pretty well. play Starly. I kind of want to weasel on the team. Actually, I should replace Bidoof. Okay. Which of these ponies has the best? Between these two, I guess this one. And Buizel, Buizel, Buizel. Okay, there you go. Wait, grass flying? I actually don't need flying then. Bug flying, normal flying. Good enough. I don't really have a large variety to take advantage of anyway. And deposit things I can't use grit dust raise the effort level for one of Pokemon stats can be used to raise effort levels only up to level three however huh 
Interesting. Wait, is that, like, material? I'm gonna assume it's material. That I want to sell. Right. Please, I want to sell. No, oh, you can multi-select too. Okay. But that item, this thing, I might as well toss it on my rallet. I feel like speed is the most important. But balance stats seems very good. Good, okay. Wait, how'd I get money? Where did I get money from? Okay, I'm just not gonna question it, I suppose. Here you... Oh. Yeah. It's a crafting kit. Must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. Seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You receive more money if you fulfill certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research task you've completed thus far. I did a lot. Twenty or more Pokemon in one report. Awesome. I was hoping for more money, but uh, I had fun. Mm -hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Okay. By reaching out, by carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, will raise research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon entry to level ten, that entry will be considered complete, and you'll have have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain research points, which we can review on the cover of the Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh! The preferred foods also tells us well, we can, like, feed to it. Interest. Okay, they're not berries, though. Okay. I need to do more with Bidoof. I need to actually do more with Starly, because I need Starly's thing. Ah, oh, yes. Um, there's a slight difference between the male and female Starlies. The crest line for the white where where the white meets the dark gray yeah that that's different what i still need to do with the doof actually uh catch more beat up more okay that makes... Okay, that's what the numbers mean. I don't know what the arrows mean, though. But either catch them or beat them up. The result is the same, I guess. Caught during the same time. Beat it up. Seeing it use stun spore. Did that not count when I ran away from... with Rallet? Eh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> investigated whether Driftler truly does play with kids. That's scary. That is very scary. That's so cute. Do they? Okay. It doesn't roll over to the next rank, so yeah, no point in going too overboard, I guess. You've made good progress on these research tasks. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Uh, no, I kind of want to go back and... Huh. I want to go actually no I want to go look at the clothes white lily dark slate crimson daffodil pine sapphire tangerine indigo Ooh, indigo is actually a very nice color I really don't like the masks, because they just float. Too bad one of none of these headbands match the scarf. Okay, these are just very basic colors. And, yeah. Ooh, but we could get a... Why does it open up in the front like that? Huh. What are the fancy ones? A karate gi? Full suit? Only, this is called expert because instead of a red belt, it's a black belt. Huh. Get us. Only the straps seem to be different. Oh, wait, Zori? Okay, these are flat to the ground. These glasses... Hmm. They're circular, which I guess for the time period is accurate. But I would expect it to be smaller. Okay. Don't need to buy anything. Uh, there. Requests. Yeah, I'm gonna turn these in first, if I can find them. Okay, you're standing where you're supposed to be. Give him the first one I have. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautify, so I should give it with the name mine. I mean, if you wanna nickname it. Beauticia, Beautifred, or Beauty. Beauticia, I guess? 
Wait, I forget what gender it was. Okay, I guess gender doesn't really matter. Have fun with your worm pole. Uh, the other... Okay, it was the guard at the front gate. That's who it was. Bigger buizel. Here. Thank you. Looking at them side by side, it's almost like the big one's the little one's older sibling. Look at how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is. Don't you think? Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on which one's bigger. Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. Thank you for the favor. I know you, you survey core folks work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. But I thought the survey core weren't really successful. Yeah, I'm gonna go out, back out and uh... No, I'm just gonna... move on with Silene, I guess. I'll finish Starly eventually. I'll probably just do that on my own time when I don't stream. Because this game is so fun! Plus with all like the side things I can do. I... There's like... a lot I can just do... on my own time, like in between streams. Probably just want to get the story stuff recorded. If you have a progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. I mean, I'm eventually gonna get an Eevee. Hmm. You made you've made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. Thank you. This you have officially attained the rank of first star in galaxy in the galaxy expedition team. <sighs> Still used to Team Galactic, but yes, we are the Galaxy Expedition Team. That fanfare is very familiar to I think it's a starting screen fanfare. Can now use heavy Nice, okay. Also, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey your orders reliably. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. I think we just got a raise, too. Okay, one apricorn, one black tumble stone. Oh, what's the iron for? We can make revives. That'll be useful, too. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. Higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Thanks, ma'am. Next mission, please. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and good night's rest. Where do we get our money from, anyway? Are we, like... Who's funding this colony? So, my boy. I believe a good jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato Moshi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? Yes. I gave him a wormple. People of Jubilees aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems rise, the survey core gets called to help. You guys don't know how to catch Pokemon. Indeed so. 
Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? Uh, about that, I was thinking maybe Yuki could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, uh, yes. That request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Gal Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. Including more about the local Pokemon. Okay, so we're not really a colony. There were settlers here before us. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some good rest. The next day... Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Alright, sure. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Already did, but they kind of need training. I'll work that out later, though. Um. Why isn't plus sign connected to the Arceus phone? That's cool. We oh, I didn't realize there was like that quick teleport or yeah, teleport merit points. Oh yeah, that's how we trade Pokemon, I guess. What are merit points? You can trade merit points for items and trade Pokemon with others. Trading. You could do local or or inter through the internet. Uh, you gather merit points or MP from helping people on the lost and found, right? Well, you can exchange M What's the lost and found? I'll figure it out eventually, I guess. Crafting materials. Dragon Pokemon like eating them. Wait, you sell recipes? I might as well. Honey cakes, ox powers, ox guards. really want okay what what Pokemon on me do I actually really want to keep Rowlet's one of them actually I kind of want to change you oh if you black out in the field you may lose some of your items However, players from all over the world can find your lost items and send them to you. Oh, it's like the... Kind of like the rescue thing from uh, Mystery Dungeon over the internet. So we can just like go around helping people, I guess. That's cool. Now 
I'll switch out Beautifly later. For a Wurmple. Because I want to get... I need- I want to get Dust- Dust Hawks, Silcoon, and Cascoon. Somehow. Okay, Akari. What do you need? Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Well, yeah, there's so much you can do in this game. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is... You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You don't get along well with your Pokemon? You have a Pokemon? Yes. Here, this is my partner, Pikachu. Big guy. <laughs> what happened to Pika? When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Well, that's sad. Since then, my partner's refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. He looks happy still, though. But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we needed to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Oh wait, they use the original Pikachu cry. Not the... Not the Pikachu anime cry that they switched over to starting from uh, XY. I miss Pikachu's old cry. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's not good. Rowlet, please. Rowlet or Shinx? I'm gonna re replace Shinx eventually, right? Nah, I might as well use Shinx. I all right, I gotta use Bite. Turn order. Nope. There you go. Does that count for the decks? You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Move mastered. Oh, thank you for battling us. Could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? <laughs> I can't tell if you're being reticent or not, Pikachu. Guess I was wrong then. I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Yes. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Yep. The type matchup chart. Um, I essentially have this memorized. So, you're the one? That new recruits everyone's talking about? The name's Zizu, captain of the security corps. You are related to... Maylene. Right, okay. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now, listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. 
on one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. I wonder if you can, like, chain it to three. I feel like it would be easy to abuse if you had, like, a fast enough Pokemon. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Yep, I've been using that. Agile, okay, if you change styles, it, you, it takes up more PP also. Okay, good to know. One more thing, if you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Zizu's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember? I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well once you've readied your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zizu if you like. Uh, that would help. Thank you. Um, after I change my Pokemon... I'm not going to slack off of my Pokedex. Uh, oh, that's that's why there's Quick Teleport. Um, pasture, Pasture. I can't teleport to the Pasture, though. Yeah. Good enough, or close enough, I guess. There you go. No, you mastered. Th okay, I guess mastery is based off of level. Hmm. But okay. Oh, but there's only eight pastures? Eight times thirty, I guess... I guess I'll release Pokemon eventually, but for now though... Unless it's a um, loading thing, we could get more, like, if we fill up, or I get at least one Pokemon in every uh, pasture. But I don't feel like testing that theory just now, because I think it takes up more data too. There's a reason why, like, modern Pokemon games only give you eight boxes to start with. But, uh, let's see what's at the training grounds. Since we can master their moves or learn new moves here. What do you do exactly? Learning new moves. So she's a tutor. They master through level up. You can choose to have your Pokemon perform it in strong- Okay, yeah. If you give me a seed of mastery, I can help your Pokemon master a move too. Okay, we can cha manually chain or like manually train it too. Or like hyper train it, I guess. You choose a move, yes. Okay, yeah, that was a really stupid question. Okay, effort levels. Please explain it to me. It improves their stats, yes. You can use Grit Dust to raise it. That did not explain much. Fall Swipe Aerial Lace. Huh. Quite expensive, but okay. Good to know. Do I need anything? I have roost, so I don't need uh, rest. Swift or aerial lace might be good.
but I don't really have that much money. Okay, what's... I don't have a seat of mastery, so I don't... I can't use that. A grit pebble? Grit rock? Oh, I used a grit dust, though. Wait. This uses grit gravel? And this uses grit pebbles. Okay. So if I have an abundance of dust, I can uh, exchange them with her. Just run. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see who this my person is. Although I think from previews it was Marley's ancestor? Boo. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. Well, you just came out of nowhere. It wasn't a shock, but what are you doing here? I was trying to anyway. Okay, thank you. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see? What I call the secret backstrike technique. Is that what I did when I, like, beamed that starling in the back of the head? Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. Hmm. You're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. I kind of have to. You know, I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Why do you give off, like, villainous vibes? Sir? I actually didn't check if there were, um... New requests. Flower rope. Gardens. Lost Satchel. Oh, okay. They mark it on the map. That's nice and convenient. That's a different area. Okay, apparently. Um, I'm going to go back to town for a moment. Although, I didn't see any... Plus, yeah, I'm just going to assume that I didn't miss any... Oh, you're that boy from the Survey Corps who found from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake clear recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe. I know it's, it's just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. People see you making my mushroom cakes famous as you are. I'm sure they'll want to give it a go, too. I've only been here for, like, Two, three days, sir. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forges of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One spring mushroom's all you need. Now I'll be waiting. Where do I find that? Sir? Where do I find that? Okay, mark that there, just to see what it is. And there's another res request right here. Okay, I didn't see you. And that marvelous rich tone, how's it produced? I must know. Oh, uh, hello, I didn't see you there. But you're from the Survey Corps, wonderful, just a person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. You must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I'd be in your debt if you complete Cricketot's page in your Pokedex and show it to me, so I... Uh, I mean, we can uncover the truth. Yes, whatever you say, lady. I'm doing most of the work. Okay. 
Let's just make a beeline straight for the satchel. Okay, there's fall damage in this game. Good to learn that now, I guess. Huh? Isn't the satchel around here? I mean, I marked it around here. Oh, um, okay. Still coming for me. What do I even need to do with you? Nah, I might as well just beat you up. When did you get hypnosis? Oh well. Can I not get up there? Oh, there it is. Yeah, requests I'm probably going to do on my own time, too. That was a good romp, though, just to explore what I can do in this game. For now, story time and training my Pokemon and not dying, hopefully. I pass? There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the side of this other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, I, you're right. You should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Can I ask you about that swirling portal in the sky, sir? No? Okay. Over here. My, this is Yuki. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I like Marley's design. She's fun. Although, uh, when you partner up with her in, in the, in Victory Road, I feel like her Arcanine's not as strong as, like, the other partner Pokemon you partner up with. Uh, I mean, I don't really count Chansey because Chansey's more of a healer and support type Pokemon, but, huh. Arcanine's a good support Pokemon, I guess. I don't know, I feel like it's... Like, the, 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 compared to, like, the other po people's partners. Like, you get Lucario. Lucario's pretty strong. And Kadabra. Or was it an Alakazam? It was something. But, anyway. What's up with you? I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But, such shock and wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So... The more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yes. That's good to hear. 
That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to that uh, task. What? Oh, you're not part of the expedition team. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. Battles at my side by choice, without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. This might be a good or bad thing. Um... Mm, tanky defense. Oh, snap. Uh, da, 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 da. Special defense. You know what? Go ahead, Rowlet. Destroy it. Right, Gust is, uh, special. Leafage, then. That, okay, that is not good. Roost up, please. Okay, that was a smaller roll, so leafage. Okay, that's not cool. Rallet! Ah! You're gonna get killed. There's no point in... Oh, I... Okay. Sure, fine. Jesus. really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that, that battled for us. <laughs> Thank you. I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should be proved to be useful materials. Vivid chokes. Thank yes. Thank you. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. Huh? I think you're indeed the one toward the job. See, I need someone to help deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To deer track heights? I guess we have to now. What does God want? That thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? No, this is from the future. Certainly does seem to show the way to deer track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it. it seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps new one. Yep, apparently. Though, before we continue, I must ask. Do you already know about... Almighty Sinnoh. I know the Sinnoh region. Uh, uh, Almighty what now? Suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. 
But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Oh, interesting. Uh... Okay. We need to get there. Okay, this was the area I think the Snorlax was. But, uh... I think this is a good place for me to call it for now. Yeah, there's quite a bit I can be doing on my own anyways, like... Fixing these things, or like completing these tasks. Yeah, we're gonna do my stuff uh, Tuesday. Um, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a terrible mistake. Does that count as a whiteout? No, that doesn't count as a whiteout. Okay. But, ooh, a Krikatot. But, uh, yeah, after I catch this Krikatot. Never mind. Okay, but, like, yeah, I'll probably play this, or stream this again on Tuesday. Until then, I'm gonna be, uh... Until then, I'm gonna be just doing side quests, I guess. But, man, this is fun. Running around. Being a ninja. So, uh... Until Tuesday, uh... Don't die. Yeah. Don't drown in the river like I did. 